up, guys, and welcome to episode 127 of Dropouts. This week, we have the bobbiest of the Lees. He's a wild card because he got he gets here. He, he sits down like he owns the place, and then he's like, oh, I want to order a coffee through your assistant. Uh, and then he looks me in the eyes, and he goes, she's my assistant I can't today. Fucking, I can't fucking believe it. Yeah. I and, can't fucking believe how you're opening. <laughs> what? That's out of fucking control. No, it's, it's not out of control. It's so fucking irritating. It Keep was, going. It, no, it was a wild card move. He's like, oh, can I talk to your assistant so you should give me a coffee? I'm like, of, of course. You know, I want to make you feel I comfortable. I asked fucking nicely, fuckface. You, no, it, you ordered. No, I don't care about okay, the order. Okay, all right. Uh, of, uh, he ordered a venti cup with six <laughs> shots. It's ridiculous. Six <laughs> shots of espresso, yeah. ice, four Splendas, and some oat milk. Are you a serial killer? Like, what's going this on? This is who you are. I'm going <laughs> to tell you everyone right now, okay? When I, he came out, right, with his little doughy eyes. Yeah. You know outside, and he was so grateful that I was here. And you're like, hi, I'm Zach. Thanks for doing it. You know what I mean? You know that. And then, right, then we go up the elevator. He starts ripping on Jared. He's saying, this guy is like, you yeah, know what, I mean? what the fuck yeah, is that he's, about? He's weak. He's got a small penis. I didn't he say doesn't, the penis He's never thing. read. Yes, yes. Oh, he's but never you read said a I'm book. weak? He's never read a book, right? And That's rip. a personal issue. I, I thought I, I could just share read, with a friend. I just read Neil's book that we had. Oh, don't bring him up. He's already tired of us name yeah, dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. And then you bring up Neil deGrasse, Grassi, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, all right, he's a scientist. I get it. You got him, right? And then you're super nice. You go, what do you need? We'll get you anything. I go, can I get some coffee? You get me coffee. And then you say that I'm acting like wild. No, no, you're not acting wild. I said your order's wild. Oh, it's like my it, bad. Let's can I take that back? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think went crazy. Sorry. It's just like I feel like you used to be hooked on drugs a little bit. Then now you're just trying to over. You came in with a Red Bull, and then you ordered a hundred shots of espresso. This is not espresso. who you are. You know, this I is, feel like this is not who you are. I feel like this is not who you are. <laughs> oh my god! See, he he switches up when the cameras <laughs> turn on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit some intro music. All right, we all need to calm down. Starting off hot. I know. And speaking about penises, I want to talk about yours for a second. Okay, I went to one. A little of your, bit. Wait, stop. No. Okay. I went to one of your. <laughs> I went to one of your shows. I got front row, and you decided just to wear pretty much gym shorts or um, sweats, very thin sweats with no underwear, and your penis was. I mean, it was covered, but it's delicious. It was maybe inches away from me, and that's all I. I, I feel like I was number walking. one. It's cute. Okay. It's yellow. Nice. Little. Little. Wild. <laughs> like a minion. <laughs> okay. So okay, it's for kids. So it's, it's for kids. Yeah. Right? It's been on Nickelodeon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Has it been on Nickelodeon or in people that watch Nickelodeon? No. That's okay. pet, that's gross behavior. Told I don't you, do Jared. that. Hey, Jared, don't make accusations. Let me say something to you, Jared. I didn't say a First of all, Jared, let me just say this right now. Okay. M most guys that I meet, when I say, uh, hey, if we were in prison, we'd probably... Have sex? Uh huh. You're the first dude I've ever met that I would not have sex with. Oh, that is such a compliment, actually. No, no. Oh. You're ugo. Oh, am I? To me, really? You told me to well, say the that. Feelings no, I did not. No, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> the one that was saying. But I feel so bad. Let me say something, okay? This environment is like happy days, right? Okay. Yeah. This In is that good. world, who are you? I don't know. Ralph Mouth. Ralph Mouth. Ralph I mean, Mouth, that's who you are. I don't even know who we, that we've is. We've got to tell you that we've never seen Happy Days. Oh, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. But it, it seems like you know who disc. you are in it. Probably someone pretty fantastic. Potsy. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm Arnold. Who's Arnold? Was Pat Morita? He was in Karate Kid, and he did like the first season of Happy you, Days. You know, you don't have to. All right. Just be I there. just looked up Ralph Mouth, and yeah. you can go fuck yourself. In that world, you're him. Who are you, Fonz? You're not. I don't the know. I've never you're seen Happy the, Days. You're not the Fonz. Man. You're not the fun. I didn't say it was. I'm Arnold. Who the hell's Arnold? I assume the on. one Asian kid. Do it. Yeah, he's Asian. Don't in fall it. into you. I feel like you just keep falling into stereotypes. You know. Okay, look up Arnold. Holy shit! Wow. Am wow. I not Arnold? <laughs> um. Yeah, but you you really pigeonholed yourself. I mean, like you you just went straight for. Bro. Okay. There's dude, who would I be <laughs> in that world? I would be that dude. No, I mean, I, pers <laughs> personally, as someone who's a little bit part of the Gen Z, I'm not allowed to say that you're a spitting image. But I am. <laughs> no, no, I'm not allowed to say that. But, but do you believe it? No, I'm not allowed to say that that completely makes sense, you know? Uh, it, I'm, right, not you guys are I'm not allowed to say you guys are probably related. That's Let me ask you say. something right now, yes, dude. Yes, please. If they were doing a Happy Days remake, right? Uh-huh. And 
out of all the Asian actors in your mind, right, that could do it, who would you be, who would be number one on your fucking wish list? Um, anyone from Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> anyway. were, were, you, were you in that? They wouldn't see me. Oh, why is that? I'm not Chinese. Oh, okay. Korean. I know, but then they said, I'm not Chinese. Uh-huh. And then I see the fucking movie. Guess who's in it? Who? Ken Jeong. He's Korean. Is he really? Yeah. So oh. they fucked me. Do you know Kim Jong? Have you guys ever? I, I, I know Kim Jong Un. Yeah, are you guys? <laughs> yeah, I don't know Ken Jong. Are, are you guys friends with? Are you friends with Kim Jong Un by chance? He died, but yeah, I was. I thought. Oh Kim no, that Kim Jong Un. No, ill. You're right. Yeah. Kim Jong Un is still. That, okay. You're right. Okay. <laughs> if you're if you're gonna come in here uh, no, as I'm, a culture Nazi, at least get it right. I wouldn't. I'm not a culture Nazi. Okay. All right. Number one, I, I'm not North Korean. So I don't know the name. How do we know you're not North Korean? Uh, bro. Because if you're if you were North Korean, you wouldn't be like I'm North Korean, or they'd take you back. I'm North Korean. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay, I'm and we want to talk about how we manipulated you to get to get you here. Is we used our co-host, who is of attractive descent, to send you a DM. A lot of followers verified. You, I mean, that pings to the top of uh, your your request list. And you're like, I was tricked. Oh, you're like, oh, I've recently got out of a relationship. I love to. No, uh, no, that was. I love to pork a young gal. I that's not my this. intentions. What were your intentions? I'm just saying that you know using her to get to me to do this was the was smart be because, because if you did it I'd be like fuck it yeah of course I wouldn't do it uh -huh. yeah right so did you ask her to ask me yeah of course I can't say no to women in general well, that's really. good to know yeah I did um uh um, like Rachel Bielsen's podcast you know what I mean I like her you know what I mean and I've known her for years but my point is is that if it was like Zach Braff, I probably wouldn't have done it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's like so definitely Zach. Justice. I'm just so busy that it's like, but I'm like, oh, you know, what I, mean? I just can't say no. So you used her, and guess what? She ain't fucking here. Nope. Well, her her grandfather is currently dying in Australia, so she took a quick plane ride um, back. Was she gonna be here then? She was gonna. She be was. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. She, you were actually. That sucks. It was very exciting for her for you to be here. That sucks. But you have no idea who she was, right? When she DM'd you. No, but then I Googled you guys, and I'm like, oh, they hang out with Barack Obama. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're boys. So I'm like, I have to do it. Last night, I was like, I was going to cancel last night. I, I, you look like you're going to cancel an hour ago. 100% <laughs> I was going to cancel last night. And then I, and I, I was talking to my ex-girlfriend, and I go, but they hang out with Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and I like them. So it's like, it's like you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm here. And you still live with your ex-girlfriend, right? Yeah. But, you're still, but are you on dating apps? or Are you trying to get out in the field now? I'm already out. I, I thought I thought I could have sworn I saw a clip where you said I'm I'm swearing off women forever. What was up with that? And well, now you're already back. Maybe you just weren't happy. Bro, let me ask you something. Please. Okay. The tools that not you, uh -huh. the tools you're using with are not the same tools I'm using. My well, what I mean by that is that you're a tall, young social media guy. You know what I mean? You got a lot of followers, you got a lot of heat. You know what I mean? You have your ugly friend. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, dude. You're, you're cute as fuck. But what I'm saying is um, you are being single out in the world is a little different than me. So in my mind, I'm like, um, I'm going to have a hard time out there. I hadn't been out in the market in over 10 years. Yeah. You know, right? So I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get laid or no one's going to like me. The opposite is true. I'm doing, I'm doing very well. Money is like a blinder for women where you just, if you have money. I'm sexy. No, no, no. It I'm sexy. Because you're a millionaire. That's what you say. It you makes you look I never said that. You did. I never said that. You, you fucking in, coward. You walked in you and said, I'm a millionaire. I never said that, you redheaded coward. <laughs> All right. I don't have red hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, bro? Are you colorblind too? Bro, that's racist. I can cancel you. Let me say something. How is that racist? Please, please if do. You, okay, let me say something. If you guys were a band, you two, right? Uh -huh. You're fucking Art Garfunkel. That's number one. Number two, Wham, you're George Michael. You're the other guy. I don't even know his fucking name. <laughs> Right? So my, my point is, is you shut the fuck up. I love you, though. Thanks for having me on. You're so welcome. Thank yeah, you Jared, for being Jared, here. My point just... is, is this. I never said any of those things. And two, you know, I've been going out again single. And it, it's, it's, it's good. It, it's Okay, what, what's the best? <sighs> what, what's the toughest part of... Okay, all I'm saying is I think the money is, is almost like you're putting glasses on. Um, the females that you're with and it's like you're a straight white male now tall that's what the money's that's what the money will do oh so what you're saying is that any fat ethnic guy 
right? Yeah. So far, turns that's what into I'm a white guy if he has money. Yes, that's and that's crazy. not racist. No, can I say something to you? No, you please, fuck, you guy. Okay. Is this uh-huh. okay? You don't you don't get you don't get it, Chacho. Okay. okay. <laughs> you don't. This is what I'm gonna say. All right. There are women out there. Interesting. There was a girl that matched with me that I've been hanging out with. She she goes, I had no idea who you were. Until what'd you would you match with her on? Hinge. Okay. Okay. That's the new one. I love it. And she goes, um, I she goes, it's weird. I'm just grow since the as a kid, I've always liked older Asian men. It, it's her kink. That's her kink. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm locking into. Right. Okay. There are women out there that like fat older Asian dudes. Now I wouldn't you, call you fat. I, I'd call oh, you like you know, well lived. I'm well lived. Well lived. Yeah. I'm well lived. Thank you. No, of course. That's very good. Um, but my point is, is that a lot of these um, women, I don't. If they're a super fan or whatever, I can't do it. No, absolutely it's weird. Not, you know. Yeah. So you know, um, you know, it's a, not at everyone that I match with. I I converse with. Are you good in the moment? It's like, oh, let's go get some drinks. Are you good talking one on one with with the girls you fancy? Or are you more of a texting guy? I'm good in the. I'm good live. Okay. Do you I'm, mind, I'm great live. Do you mind if we practice for a second? I'd love to. I'll, I'll be a lovely. I'll be a lovely dame. I'd rather have him do it. Okay. No, please no, no. He, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why. Okay. Because you're scared. Yep. And you don't think <laughs> you have the skill set, right? Right. Right. And you're blushing a little bit right now. And that's what you want in women. That's what I want in women. Yeah. Right. You I don't like power. confident women. I'm not. I wasn't gonna be. <laughs> oh, you weren't. No, right, no, no. I like. You know what I mean. Your type. Okay. Confused. Never read a book. <laughs> he, he just likes. He yeah. just likes illiterate women who he can take advantage of. I like big teeth on a woman. Yeah. 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 Oh. You have a horse's mouth. Then I am your. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, I've yeah. always said I got he big wants ass ride, beaver teeth. He wants to ride you bareback. No, you're like a centaur, but like the, you just got the horse mouth. Okay. Not the not the body. Not right? the body. Yeah, yeah. You're like a. So um, all the horse is just right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. who you are. How's your body dysmorphia going? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the teeth I'm fine with. You were, really are. Yeah, I, you can roast my teeth all day. What what, what, what what are you not fine with? Oh, I'm not telling you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Well, can I just whisper it to you really quick? Yeah. And then, no, let's discuss it in not a negative way though. We can positively bring it up. Um, he's a little self-conscious about his love handles. And there then, we go. Yeah, yeah. And then also, yeah. His, well, his I, jawline. Well, I noticed. I noticed that coming in. Right, uh-huh. but it was too easy. So that's yeah. why I'm wearing like the big baggy hoodie. What's going on with the si- size of your body? Ah, uh, you know, I just love food. You know, I love eating. No, he, he's yeah. skinny now. Tell him you used to be. Well, I did used to be heavy set. I used to be like 240, 245 when I was in high school, a young lad, and then I lost it, most of it. Yeah, for, from your chest down, it's like a melting candle. Yeah. No, that's something I you don't know cool. how much he's going to think about this. I, no, it's a pretty good. I already think about it. I thought about it like when what? I was getting dressed today. But you didn't think about people, you know, putting freight like you've never heard. No one's ever said you look like a melting <laughs> candle, right? It's not. <laughs> that is a first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A, but you know what? I appreciate the creativity of it, mm. you know, because most people just go like, Ah, you're fat, you know? He said, yeah, but yeah. like, that, there's some artistry with the melting candle. Uh-huh. You know, I got imagery. I was thinking of like Edgar Allan Poe writing, you know, the knock on the, whatever the poem is by the candlelight. Which, That's great. Which mm-hmm. side were you on, on um, Harbor? What do you mean? <laughs> Just where do you, where's your stance? Like Pearl Harbor comes around. What do you celebrate? What, what you just say Harbor? Pearl you Harbor. Think, you think I know what Harbor means if you just say Harbor? Well, I, number one. Okay. This is so, I love where we're going. You guys want to go there? Let's go there. Number one, fuck face, right? I'm not <laughs> Japanese, right? Number two, okay, well, you're, 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 no, number two, you have to understand that the Japanese oppressed Korea for like over 50 years. Okay. They tortured funny. our people, right? So, and also number three, fuck face, I'm a fucking American through and through. Well, Jared, All right? I asked Jared what you were and he says, I don't know, pretty much throw a dart in Asia and it's one of them. Yeah, did you really say that, Jared? Yeah. Do you think I would say that? Yeah. Do you think yeah. that would come out of my mouth? Out of all the one, out of all the- Huh? Slow down when you talk. Out of all the outlandish, the first no, I, I, I don't need to slow down. Actually, we get comments that I need to speed the fuck up when I talk. I love what you're doing. The, the confidence coming back. I love it. Oh, yeah. He's, he's into it <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I think he's angry. He hasn't <laughs> blinked in three minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's against the corner. Go ahead. Out of all the outlandish statements that have been said on this podcast, mm. do you think if I just throw a dart at Asia, and that's probably where he's from, came out of my mouth? You know what? Mm. I like your argument, yeah. and I, I'm, I, 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 I tend to believe you. Okay. Okay. There we go. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Why would you make that up about this guy? Wouldn't a master manipulator be able to just manipulate you that easily, though? 
That is true. Wouldn't a master manipulator be able to just twist that argument around in 0.3 seconds? Yeah, wouldn't he be your boss? No. Te- no, technically, you, <laughs> technically. Wait, wait, wait. You want to hear something? You yeah, want to yeah. hear something wild? I think you're crossing the line. No, this. You want to. <laughs> cro- what line am I crossing? Yeah. Bobby, this is, this is how I know he's a snake. The I, DMZ? I, wait, I got to tell... No, I... Oh, <laughs> wait, what did he just what, say? What fuck, hold on, hold on, hold on. This popped out. I got so angry this popped out. Hold on, give, give me a second. I love this guy. Can I say that something? Uh-huh. That was a great joke. Thank you. I love that. I appreciate that. He said, what line am I crossing? The DMZ. Which is, if your fans don't know, that's the border between North and South Korea. <laughs> and that's a very clever joke. Thank you. Did that make you feel right. good? That's the he's he's how many times did you get shot when you were flying or swimming over? That's so funny because that joke, what you did was clever. Mm -hmm. What you're doing right now, it's 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 below the belt. Well, that's it's it's not clever, dude. (laughs) It's below the belt. In school, I'm sure we were all asked to read The Prince and the Pauper. I'm going to be honest, I've never read that book, but being a prince sounds way better than being a pauper. Now, you know what sounds better than being a miss or a mister? Being a lord or a lady. And that's what you can get from established titles. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on the historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. A crest. Do you know how official a crest is? Holy heck. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles. The possibilities are endless. And with the holidays coming up, it makes a great last minute gift. The first 200 people to purchase a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plot within walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can essentially build a little dropouts kingdom. Do you know how cool that sounds? A dropouts kingdom? We're taking over the world, baby. You can order a digital certificate and print it out all within five minutes. Established Titles is running a massive holiday sale right now, and I mean massive. Plus, if you use the code DROPOUTS, you get an additional 10% off. So go to establishedtitles.com slash dropouts to get your gifts now and help support the channel. One more time, that is establishedtitles.com slash dropouts. E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H-E-D-T-I-T-L-E-S. L-E-S dot com slash D-R-O-P-O-U-T-S to get your gifts now and help support the channel and become a lord or a lady. Forget helping the channel. Join the dropouts kingdom. Anyway, back to the show. Thank you, Iron Man. Well, speaking of below the belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't apologize for your penis being in my face for an hour and a half. Well, no, it was 20 minutes. Did you pay for a ticket? Yes. Then you got what you paid for. You got what you paid for. I Speaking of... Oh wait, I, I completely forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, 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 wait, yeah. no, this is. Oh wait, we got to go back before I forget. Okay, it's, what what do you want to go back to? What's so hilarious about you not knowing who Indiana is is you guys did a movie together. <laughs> what movie? A movie that you probably don't remember exists because you were probably just doing it for a paycheck. Any of them ring a bell? Well, I mean, I I've done so. Is it an independent movie? Let me ask you that. Yes. Well, I've done so many of those. I don't know which one it is. I okay, Jared. If you had to put money on it, when I say the title of the movie, do you think he'll know it? No. Okay. Well, I, I'm sure. I, I, if you say it, I will know because uh, I did it. Hero mode. I did it. I'll tell. I'll tell you the reason why I know that it. one though. My cousin's husband produced it. Okay, and also Eric's in there as well. Griffin's in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I did do that movie. Yes, I don't remember her. Did I do scenes with her? I, th- I, thought I honestly so. don't remember. That. I, <laughs> yeah, I never saw it. Never saw it. <laughs> But hero mode, I did do, and um, I yeah, I, I know I worked on it for one day, so I, I never met her. Okay, yeah, sorry. yeah. So, yeah, no, but I, yeah, but you know what? I'm sure she was great. Wow, all your scenes were one day. Yeah, I played the principal, I think. In in, in oh, a, there it goes. He knows. Yes, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, my cousin, my, my, my I, I did it because my cousin, uh, her husband, nice guy, asked me to do it. I do favors. But you didn't want to come on here until you knew 
It was Obama in. Okay, here's the deal, dude. I'm, you're walking no, no, stop, stop, stop. No, you okay. know, I, 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 you know what? If you really want to get down and deep, let's go. Let's all right. Go. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, Please. Zach. Yes. All right. You're not in my group. Okay. Okay. That's fair. I have a group of people that I grew up in comedy with. Yes. And I we inter, we do our each other's podcast to help ourselves grow. You're outside the group. I'm not saying that this podcast sucks. I'm not saying that you don't have fans. I'm sure it's one of the best podcasts in the world. I don't know. I only know I the ones no that idea. I have no idea. I only know is, is that like um I've never heard of it. Okay? That's, That's number fair. two, right? I'm on this. And then even before we even roll the cameras, you're like, I want to, you're trying to get people from my group to do this. And I was, I said to you that I was going to help you do that. You he mentioned Theo Vaughn. You mentioned Whitney Cummings, right? These are my fucking people, right? And I'm going to help you do that, right? Still, wow. <laughs> right. I really am, right? <laughs> but I won't if you keep going down this road. I, this is a road of tragedy. No, I would love to burn the bridges as long as. Why? Why? You're why? a nice kid. I'm not. This, a, this person that you're doing right now, it's not who you are. You, the guy that downstairs coming up the elevator, that's not who you are. I think, you that's switch, who, I think that's not who I am. I want you to think. Maybe. You may yeah, be right. Maybe I right. wanted to flip the switch here so I could have this reaction. I'm manipulating you. Okay? And we all know that. Okay. And what we said earlier about both of us saying something that we didn't say, Jared didn't say it. <laughs> What'd you say? I, What'd you want to say? No, no the dartboard at uh, Asia. I said it, all right? I know you did. Okay. I know you did. I, I don't think that was a secret. That's not a secret. Yeah, though. that's not something you had to like yeah. confess. And I'm trying to get canceled. No, I like this about, here's another thing I want to say. Zach, sorry for interrupting. But what I like about this generation uh -huh. is you guys aren't as woke as the previous, the yeah. ones that, that was ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys are a little bit more wild, and that's why I'm here. Yeah. Okay, good. Because we got, we got burnt out by all the woke. Actually, because you went on Logan Paul recently, and if he had never gotten canceled, he could have never had the redemption arc. So that's what I'm searching for. Yeah. So what are, are there any ballparks? You're not even in the same dimension as that guy. No, of course not. We know he that. He's such a man. No, I know. He's thick. He, you know, let me say something. You're not even the same fucking team, bro. No, I, I he's know. Like, he's like Olympic, you know what I mean? And you're like special. <laughs> if you were going to do like, like sports. the ringer right Don't now. act like we probably wouldn't compete against each other. In the I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not saying that. All right. You and I are both there. Okay, then yeah, that's where I want to yeah, be. Yeah, we're running against scoliosis. <laughs> all right, so my, that's my point. But he is uh, elite. So okay. don't ever even, you're not in the same category. No, I so. didn't say I was in the same category. I said I wanted to cancel similarly. If had sex with you, you would explode. Why are you thinking about that? Do, I you just have, did. do you have gay sexual tendencies? I do. Okay. You've had a penis in your mouth, right? Jared? Huh? Do you think he's had a penis in his mouth? Just well, look at him and judge him only by his physical appearance. Like we should with most humans. I mean, by the physical appearance, no. Okay. Thank you. But Whoa, thank you. What's wrong with that? But you know? anecdotally, from what I've heard, yes. So there we go. Why there would you bring go. it up? I wanted to bring it up because I think... I think no, no, no. What you're doing, what you're doing right now, <laughs> right? Let's stay... I'll, I'll talk about penis sucking. Okay, right? thank you. But let's go before that. We were, going, you were, we were talking about race... You were talking about Pearl Harbor. You know I mean, and you know, let's go back to that. Okay, okay, and then we'll, okay. We'll segue. Yeah, I forgot what side. We're, we're, what side are you on? Okay, so I'm Pearl an American. Harbor. Why would I not be on the side of America? So it was a bad day for you. I wasn't alive. <laughs> but now, but when you I think wasn't back, alive. when you think back, what do you mean? Like, if you were to th if you were there, you'd be like, "This is a bad day for me and my nation." Or would you be if like, I, "If if I look back in the history the of guys. time, there were so many fucking bad days." Right, but I, since I wasn't alive, you know what was a bad day for me? Nine eleven because I was alive. Thank you. You're That's welcome. All I was okay, now I know right, you're American. Right, right. I'm an American. <laughs> all right. So my point is, is that I don't have an opinion about Pearl Harbor, right? Because I'm not Japanese, and also I wasn't Again, alive. Again, how are we supposed to know? You can tell. What are the traits? Yeah. What uh, I've always been curious about <laughs> that. I love it. I love this yeah, game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think white people have the eye of the tiger. No. <laughs> okay, that That's was another, racist. No, th I love that again. Okay, okay. <laughs> this guy's really good. I, know, I get why you have him, right? Yeah, yeah. That was very good. He throws Thank the zingers you. out there. Yeah, pretty good zinger. Dude. That one was a little racist, though. Tiger? Why? Tigers are all over the world. Yeah. Africa has them. I mean, the main population is in Asia, but... You think it is? I know it is. What you you you're, tigers okay. for years. What, uh, so what you're... I'll make a bet on that. I did an eighth grade presentation. How about this? Let's make a bet. Okay. All right, and you're going to Google, right? You have a lot more money than me. Can right, we, right. Let's, let's go... Uh, $20. No, 
That, that's easy. Okay. You have twenty dollars on you. I don't have twenty dollars on me, but you don't have to pay for your coffee. Okay, let's do that. So I'm saying that there are more tigers in Africa, and you're saying there are more tigers in Asia. Yes. What's up? Most wild tigers live in Asia. Okay. <laughs> Thailand, for, India, and Indonesia. You're gonna pay for the coffee. I'll right? pay for the coffee. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'll pay for the coffee. And that was racist. Oh, now with now that, with racist. that information, it's racist. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you fuck you. All right. Okay. But very funny. That's so, right. So what we were saying, all right, so what were we saying? Um, the features. All, all features of Asians, yeah. right? Um, I can tell the difference between, the, the Japanese and Korean are a little hard. Okay. Because of the fact that we're kind of the same people. We're descendants of Mongolia, so we came down, and then the exactly Japanese are thought. the What? That was exactly my thought. The Japanese are the ones that went, we're going we're gonna to go across. Okay. Right? So they're the boat builders. Yeah. Right. And then they ended up on the island of Japan. Right. So it's like, but if our DNA is like, I'm 10% Japanese. If I go to 23andMe, <laughs> I'm 10% Japanese. So I should have an opinion. I loved Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Great day yeah. for our nation. And can I just say this too about Pearl Harbor? Right. Sorry. No, no. It's no. a war. It's a fucking war. Right. And also, you know, I love when Americans go, Those are some of our we're so shows. angry because it was a sneak attack. Right. <laughs> What, you think Emperor Hirohito was supposed to call Roosevelt? I think that was the president and go, excuse me, I ain't going to attack tomorrow morning. Yeah, I mean, he's not, what he, they did was like pretty clever. Hey, Jared, can you do the accent he just did? I just want to see if you could do it verbatim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, excuse me. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the line me. and then, and then right, you, yeah. go, you go, excuse me, right. Roosevelt. Yeah, do that. Right. Excuse me. No, no, I'm Roosevelt. not done. I'm not, no, oh, okay. I'm not done. I'm going to do a full sentence. All right, all right. Excuse me, Roosevelt. Tomorrow morning, I attack Hawaii. All right, go ahead, Jerry. Excuse me. No, not the the, with the accent. accent. With, the, with the accent. I can't. I yeah, can't. yeah, you have to. You have to. It's I offensive. Have to? Because it's offensive it's when a, you don't do it because the thing is, I'll tell you why it's offensive to me because it's my people. And also, uh -huh. right? a minority is finally asking a white person for help. Yeah, I'm asking you for help. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, excuse Jared. me. Excuse <laughs> me. Road about. Yeah. Right. We start tomorrow, there. tomorrow morning. I I attack Hawaii. Do I have to rub my belly yeah, while I do it too? I, yeah, that was just my a choice as an actor. Oh, okay. So you don't have to. <laughs> he wants to. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, oh, let me just say this too before because I feel you're uncomfortable. Yeah. You know I'm on Bad Friends, right, with Andrew Santino. Uh -huh. He does Asian accents all the time. Yeah, but see, he doesn't, he, and he, he doesn't like, get canceled. Like you said earlier, he's part of your group, though. You know. Oh yeah, we. Are you know what? How about this? For to make you feel comfortable, right? Uh -huh. Welcome. You're a part of my group. Okay. It's good. <laughs> oh, he, he just goes right, he goes right into the right, right. He's like, who's trying to blind me right. with some but, dental floss? Yeah, yeah, and we're like, yeah, Jared, yeah, the yeah, hell yeah, are you yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. dude? So I want you to slow it down, uh -huh. right? And imagine this. How about this? Let's make it, let's up the ante, uh -huh. all right? Imagine, right, I'm Tarantino. Okay, this all is right? great, yeah. Right, and, I, and I'm, I, you're my actor, right? right? You're opposite Brad Pitt in a scene. Oh, right, yeah. okay. and I come up to you and I go, "Hey, dude, um, what's your name again?" <laughs> Jared. Jared, yeah. what's up? So, Jared, um, thanks for doing the movie. Listen, you know that first scene took so long, and you know we have to get out of here in about fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. So you get one take at this. Okay. All right. So just do me a favor. It's one line. You can kill it. Commit to it. Be Japanese. Right. Here we go. Everyone lined up. All right. Three, two, hey, oh, roll sound. Roll sound and action. Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Roosevelt. I am going to attack Hawaii tomorrow. Cut. Cut. Yep. We got it. Move on. Moving on. Moving on. We'll change his eyes and post. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're moving on. Move on. We're, we're moving, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how really good. Now it's your turn, Zach. No, we're just going to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> no, your turn, Zach. I was I'm yeah, like, no, no. your turn, Zach. I'm, I'm AD right, on quiet this all night. I'm Camera a, speed. Camera speed. Sound speed. Sound speed. I'm uh, AD on this project. No, you're, you're doing it. Okay. And okay. What are the words again? What, what, uh, excuse me, Roosevelt. Okay. Right? Tomorrow morning, I <laughs> attack. Bravo. Okay. All right. Okay. In Hawaii I'm or an whatever. Actor. Right? Yeah. And action. Excuse me, Roosevelt. Oh. We're going to attack the Americans with our big bombs and stuff. Uh, it's cut, it's cut. That was more Russian. Yeah, yeah no, it, was, I, I, it sounded I, Russian. You, dude, you I feel, bailed. I feel like Russian you was less bailed. offensive. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bailed on that, dude. I know, and I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, it's the. Uh, let like, me let me say something to you. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm not the, one of those Asian dudes that like, you know, I'm, I'm in the world of comedy, right? Okay. And I like to have fun, yeah. right? And I'm not that sensitive about certain things like that. You know, I know some Asian dudes that like, will never do accents, don't hate the idea that we have to do accents or whatever. And in terms of an acting part, generally I try not to do accent parts. There she is. Here she comes. Coffee there, break. There Coffee is break. Just his there cocaine she is. in a in a <laughs> cup. I know his assisted suicide from Starbucks. What nationality are you? Uh, I love it. Can you do an Asian accent by chance? <laughs> we make her do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Alyssa. This is really dope, dude. Thank you so much. Of course. You want to you want to take a second? No. Okay. <laughs> We're going straight <laughs> into it. Anyway, <laughs> I love you, kids, because I won't chew. Let me just. No, chew, chew yeah. right into the mic. <laughs> Let me give her money. No, she doesn't. No, the oh, bat. you did the lose. Bat, you the did bat. lose. You did lose. Here, Alyssa. Alyssa. Come grab the money. We money were, for the coffee. Yeah, we lost. He He's lost making me bet. pay, even though I came all over here to do his podcast. I don't want it. No, keep it. Keep, keep the yeah, change. It's Tigers in Asia. Just remember that. <laughs> mm. Wait, oh. do, do we ever get to the... You flirting with Jared in a coffee shop and no. he plays a woman? Oh no, we haven't done that either. Okay, we, we'll we, do it. Let's, let's get let's get to that, Jared. Oh, so what, what was the premise again? What was what, what was behind it? Um, that you don't know how to. Oh, that you really know how to approach women in a social setting. Well, here's the deal. I mean, I I only know how to do it if I match with them on a dating site because then at that point I know they kind of like me. Yeah. So I bring in that confidence. When it comes to m meeting a rando, right? It's a little harder for me. So what's the scenario? Okay, I'm going to set the scene. Obviously at a coffee shop. But is it, do I know her or do I not know her? From, I, I so, think you know her. All right, so this is our first date. So is we walk it, in together. No, I think I think she's, our, she got there a little early. You didn't drive to pick her up because it's two separate parts of town. And you walk in and she's there. Okay, what's her name? Um, Delilah. Well, well, no, no, I don't want Delilah. What, make up your own name. Rebecca. No, in the scene, fuck face. Don't, you can't even use that anymore. Yeah, you got to. What do you mean? Oh, oh, like in the scene, I have you're to, saying, okay. I'm going to say I'm Bobby. In the scene, also, secondly, right? I want the name, just as a fun thing, right? To be a name I've never heard before. Even make it up. It's got to be a name I, that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, lamp fixture, something like that. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> right? I can't really demand that because you're meeting her. You can't change someone's name, but I, I hear you. Yeah, you hear what? No, right, in the scene, though. No, I know. Right? I know. I know. Maybe I'll change mine. All right, roll All right. sound. Action. Hi, I'm Logger Flip. Hi, Logger Flip. Nice to meet you. I'm Milkshake. Hey, Milkshake. <laughs> you know, the reason why I matched with you is because I, you know, I'm like, because my name's weird, right? Yeah. I'm Logger. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my name, right? And, and, and I'm like, Milkshake. That's cool. And it's like, you're a white girl with a name like Milkshake. It's crazy. I know. It's dope. So it's a really cool name, man. Where, where did, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Your, your name is also cool. Where did it come from? Logger? Yeah. Well, I'm descendant of Paul Bunyan. Oh yeah, yeah. So the Minnesota da deal. Oh yeah. Okay, gotcha. I you thought... know, Paul Paul Bunyan was Asian. I don't know if you're... And people were like, "How did he grow the beard? And why was he so so tall?" But it's like it's weird. He was an Asian dude. He was. Yeah, he had gigantism. Really? Yeah. So like, I'm a descend... uh, well, like Yao Ming. Yao Ming di actually didn't have gigantism. He was just a tall Asian guy. Okay. But that's <laughs> funny. Milksy, Milksy. That's really funny. How did you get your name? Uh, were you your parents hip hippies? My parents? No, no. They actually, well, they met at a diner. Hold actually. on, hold on, hold on a second. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That sounded wet. Are you good? Um, for our audio listeners, um, he got up out of his chair, um, and then he positioned the mic, <laughs> I think almost in his, his butt, and proceeded to- Milkshake, come and fix this. Oh. Proceeded We're still to- in the scene. We're still in the scene. Yeah, of course. Would, you would fart into a microphone- Oh, that's all you do? <laughs> it was a lot less. Yeah, yeah. Finally, you know. Milkshake, come sit back down. Sit back down, Milkshake. Oh, sorry. Sorry, logger. Yeah. Anyway, why did you, why did you like my um, profile on Hinge? You know, I just, you have a very uh, sweet face and, oh! um, you know, a great mustache. And I could just, I could tell you were fucking loaded. Loaded in terms of what, money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. You, can I, do you know why I liked you? Why? Because I like your face. I like uh -huh. horses. Oh, do because you? Because you have the logger background, right? Yeah. So, you know, it, Paul Bunyan and we all, we had, he had a ranch. Of course. Right. So I course. grew up, you know, generations and generations on a ranch. Yeah. Right. And it's like my favorite horse was Mabel. Uh -huh. And she had more, she, out of all the horses, she had just a, I don't want to, fucked up 
you know what I mean? Mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was like, you know, um, somebody took a mallet and just hit the fucking gums and the teeth came out. Uh-huh. And, right. And you have Mabel's mouth. Oh, I cannot believe yeah, it's I cool. remind you of, of your childhood favorite horse. It, exactly. Oh. And can I say something right now? Mabel was in a fire. Yeah. Right. And that poor thing. That, and the bottom of her, you know what I mean? From the hips down, right? Her skin just started sagging. Mm. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Like her skin starts just melting and melting, right? Oh. And I was always attracted to that. And you have the same hips. Interesting. Yeah, like just loose so skin, just yet in a fire. You, you, know I mean? you were attracted to your horse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's weird. I went to therapy. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, we ate her. We ate Mabel. My point is because we are Asian, you know what I mean? And we like uh, to, you know, okay. make stews. But my point is <laughs> this is that. So you just were really reminded, and so that's why you you you're, so you like me because of why again? I just thought you were rich, you know? a rich There's, money. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, do you want to um? Let's have dinner. You want to go have dinner? Yeah. Where are we going? Catch, boa. Oh, you want to go to boa? Bourbon steak. Let's go to boa. Let's go to boa. You want to go to go to boa? Yeah. Let's my, go to boa. My treat. Okay. Cut to your, we're at your apartment. Oh, oh wow. Seven, past seven, six hours. Is this after boa? After Boa, oh, well, after well, well, okay. right, and now we're on your couch. Okay, milkshake. What's your last name? A hamburger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I told. You, listen, I know it's a little weird. I know it's a little weird. My parents met at a diner. I told you. I told you. Well, well, Why would they change their last name? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, <laughs> milkshake hamburger. Oof. 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 I might have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the dinner. Thank you. I mean, I mean, I paid, but anyway, uh, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, that was milk cheek hamburger. Yeah, that and was I a... leave. Yeah, I wouldn't probably. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was you too much. To, yeah, you had to do a little bit better than. Yeah, 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 yeah. The oh. last, I don't like the last name. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it felt yeah, like... but I would be taking your last name in the future. It felt oh, like a first improv class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, pretty good scene though. Yeah. Did you th- like it? I, I, the hamburger bit it threw me. For <laughs> it threw a me for a loop. Right. I'm almost speechless. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. the blood just retracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah, yeah. Penis so hamburger. fast. Yeah, yeah. Hamburger. I, I hamburger. Could, huh? I could see your boner just. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it went inside my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flaccid immediately. Anyway, that was the date. Pretty good, right? Yeah, th- I pretty think good. You actually did a, a fantastic. Thank job. you so much. I added information. Oh yeah, you did. Right, I, there was a lot of information. You gave no information. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just blown, blown, blown. <laughs> You're just blown, <laughs> blown away by you know uh, just the poor tragic Mabel. Li- her well, life. I gave history to my character, Uh huh. right? And you gave no history. Well, like I said, this is my first improv class. So, mm. so say this improv was to keep going. And you know what? I want, you know, you know that, uh, that's interesting to me. So mm-hmm. I, I want to teach you how to do improv, actually. Okay. Right? And well, let's do an exercise, right? All right. And if you don't commit to it, right? Uh-huh. If you don't commit to it, I literally, and I've done this before, I will leave. <laughs> I, I will fucking leave. I love the stakes. All right, the stakes are high. I will. I know. I know where my car is. And no Theo. No Whitney. <laughs> oh, none of that. In uh-huh. fact, you they'll never do this podcast. Okay. Right over my dead body. Yeah. They'll they'll block all of us. Right. And I'm going to just tell you what's at stake here. Uh huh. Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Bert Kreischer. Tom Zagura. Whitney Cummings. Okay. Okay. I mean Andrew Santino. I mean, there's a list of people that's in my group, baby. No, nobody from TFAT K so far. Andrew Schultz. Okay. Love him. You said that Chris DeStefano might do this podcast? No. No, he won't. All I right. promise you. Uh, there's a lot on There's the a lot, line. right? So in this um in this <laughs> improv, right? Please make him touch you, but keep Yeah, going. you're doing a TED talk. Okay. All right. On metaphysics. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> right. And how it pertains, right, to social media. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So Here's what I want. There's no pauses because imagine there's a gigantic audience, right? And you, the, this, you're doing your your monologue in the beginning, your introduction. It's got to do. You got to do at least a minute. No, two minutes. Jeez, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> two minutes. I, I, I understand that, right? So uh, just to prepare you, right? What I would focus on is who you are, right? Mm-hmm. Your name, how you got your background, why you're here, right? Um. And how metaphysics, you know what I mean? We can talk about maybe metaphysics, how metaphysics for a little bit. Affects- I social media, but you can talk about social media a little bit, right? Maybe if you can connect the two, that'd be great. And you, you don't, don't have to. You know what metaphysics 
Oh, he doesn't. I, you don't even have to know okay, what that okay, is. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. How to do improv? You can make shit up. This, this whole thing is about making shit up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have a. Well, I, I gotta do. I gotta get. I gotta get my um timer going. So timer. And no pause is over. How many seconds? Um, probably three seconds. Yeah. If it, five if seconds. It goes, if it goes anything. Five. Let's give him five. That's no, three, sec pause. Yeah, three just, seconds. Yeah. Three seconds is yeah. good. Three seconds is good. Ready? Okay. And so well, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you. Right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the the show, the talk is. Well, let me start. Let me. Start. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. I've never done an introduction. All right. Welcome to TED Talk. Our first speaker today is going to talk about metaphysics as it pertains to social media. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Clap, 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 and time starts. Hello, audience. Hello. Nice to see all these lovely faces today. My name is Jared Bailey, okay? And you might be wondering, who is this guy and why is he speaking to us today? I want to start off with a little bit about my background. <laughs> I got my bachelor's at Harvard University. Everybody's clicking off, Bobby. I got, I got my, my master's at the University of Texas at Austin, and I got my PhD in metaphysics and communication at Columbia. Okay. And now you came here for a presentation about yeah. the effects of metaphysics on social media. <laughs> now, what is social media? Very good. Okay. We, I think we have to go back <laughs> back you. to our ancestors, back to the days <laughs> of cave paintings. All right. Wow. It was a way to share stories, our stories. <laughs> it was a way to share a lifetime of information. And we would paint these on the walls with the, the blood of the, the animal that we killed that day. Okay. As a, as a community. And then... We move on. We, we evolved. We became no longer hunters and gatherers, but we became settlers and we grew agriculture. And <laughs> sorry. Whoa, whoa. Keep going, keep sorry, going. sorry. We, we, <laughs> it was only two we, seconds. It was only two we, seconds. We grew crops. We formulated agriculture and we began herding animals, right? And this became. We, we not herding, <laughs> sorry, I, let me clarify, H-E-R-D-I-N-G, okay, yes. herding animals and, you know, building uh, sustainable food sources, which that allows us to then have leisure and leisure leads into social media. <laughs> sorry. Am I talking to the audience right now? Or is you did it. Too, uh, you, you fucking did it. Thank two minutes. God. That was fucking amazing. Bro, <laughs> that's, come on. <laughs> Zach, even Thank you have you. to give it up to this guy. Good. You got to give it up to this guy. No, that's good. You that saved the fuck. podcast. <laughs> no, you no, saved the podcast. My only sure. concern was, I was like, are you about to go through entire human civilization evolution? But, that's, oh, but, that, 100%. but that was sprite of him. No, yeah, because he could have gone on for hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you yeah. had to go through the uh, the Bronze Age. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> because because the Industrial because, Revolution, now technology. Yeah. Yeah. And as a viewer, I'm like, oh, this makes sense because he's going to first talk about social media and the history of communications, you know what I mean, through from the caveman days all the way to now. So that was very bright. So as an audience member, I was like, oh, he's going to talk about metaphysics later. Exactly. Yeah, right? So you killed the time with the first thing. Uh-huh. Very bright, dude. Appreciate wow. That. Were you impressed, Zach? Be honest, dude. <laughs> Be fucking um, completely honest. As a, is it, if this was a TED Talk that I had paid for. Right. Not we would all. walk out. We would walk out. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, just, that's for sure. <laughs> well, no, you, you know, you know, I wouldn't walk out. I would. The first thought in my head is like, uh oh, yeah, where is this going? This is no, no, that, that no. This guy's nervous, uh -huh. and it yeah. seems like he's never done this before. But I don't think I would walk. I'd probably walk out ten minutes later. Yeah, we, we, you'd go if to I, the bathroom. Yeah, but it was not like in terms of like a real TED, TED talk. You would make the audience nervous. Yeah, like oh my god, and then he. You also attacked a, an audience member. I, I was just asking because a question. I was, because I was nervous, you know? I know, but I got, if I got you defensive. Actually, but if you actually did that on a TED Talk, I think people would be like, whoa, bro, this is, this is insane. Right? He's attacking yeah. a guy for asking a question. Excuse me, are you, you know what I mean, <laughs> giving a TED or whatever you did? You do, know you, I mean? do you mind giving us a TED Talk for two minutes? This is- um, uh, uh, Well, if we're, all, if, if we're all gonna do it, you have to do it too oh, then. Of course, of course, of all course. Right. Um, this is, hold on, let me get my timer out. And this is gonna be why, hold on, where's <laughs> my timer? Why do I have to do it? What hold do on. I get from it? Um, we'll get Obama on your podcast. All right. No, no, really, what do I get from it? Be um, honest. I have to get something. You can take our assistant on a date. 
She just shaked her head, so no. <laughs> Alyssa. No, no, no. She just shaked her head now. Alyssa, he has a lot of money and he's in no, 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 no. It's it's fine. It's already too late. Give me something else. Uh, Jared, what can we um Oh, we'll let you uh pick a prize out of the prize bin. I know what it is. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what I want. Okay. okay. I want to take my shirt off. Okay. Okay. I want Jared to take his shirt off. Okay. And then we're gonna hug for two minutes. Okay. With our shirts off. Okay. Are you and that's if you can't do it or you can't if, if I can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what what? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> he's just mentally preparing. <laughs> Yep. It, and it's like no laughing. Oh, okay. The hug. Okay. I shut can. the fuck up. Yo, really? Yeah. Let oh. me talk. Okay. okay. I'm the guest. So this right. is going to be. I'm not done yet. Okay. I, I, I'll I'm tell sorry, you what I sir. want. All right. So um, you're going to take your shirt off. I'll take my shirt off. All We're right. going to hug for two minutes. No smiling or laughing. That is physically Or you have to impossible. restart. No. Yeah, it is. And no, here's. I'm going to up the ante. So we're going to lock eyes. And if you smile, I will leave. <laughs> I will leave the podcast, and you don't get Theo Vaughn. You don't get Whitney Cummings or anything like that. I love how up. much how much leeway do I get on the smiling? Because like I will try to fight it as hard as I can. I'm going to tell you the kind of smiling you're going to do. Right? Mm -hmm. Imagine you're um, you're a Jewish person in uh, Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. That look of terror and seriousness mm -hmm. for your predicament. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I get it. Would they smile in Auschwitz? No. Mm -mm. No. No smiling. Mm -mm. So that's what's at stake, bud. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And this is a two minute presentation. But, but if you want to see this, if you want to see us hug, okay. make the topic easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll do so it. It depends on what you want to do. Exactly. Okay, go ahead. Okay, ready? Well, no, you have to tell me what it is first and then start. No, I'm going to present you to the stage. Oh, so you're your topic. I didn't get do that for him. He's just his first time doing improv. You've been doing this for 50 something years. All right, right? go ahead. <laughs> Goodness. Welcome to the stage, Bobby Lee, with his talk on why white is the master race. And starting now. Good evening. My name is Tamayo Margaret Gonzalez. And I got my um, doctorate at MIT. And uh, I also did um, my master's at Harvard University. Many of you are wondering why an Asian person is doing a talk on the master, white people being the master class. And I have to tell you, I am white. I, I just have to happen to suffer, suffer from jaundice. Mm. Yes. Okay. And that's why the yellow skin. And I've been sick with jaundice since I was a baby, right? And so what I want to tell you is, is that my father, right, was a dentist and my mother worked for the city and I was born a yellow baby. And my parents, most white parents, right, if they had a jaundiced baby, right, I've read in some books that they would leave them, you know, in, um, at the hospital as a baby and just leave them there or take the baby and drop them off at you know, some a neighbor's house, right? But my beautiful white parents did not do that. They took this yellow jaundice-like baby, right? And said, this is our white baby. Although it's yellow, right? They saw through the color, right? And because of their work ethic and because of their moral and ethical stances about life, right? They took care of this baby. Now, as a yellow baby, I was harassed, right? And shamed and bullied in school by white people. And as a white baby with yellow skin, I realized then that they are, they, white people's personalities and their conduct and their, um, again, ethical, you know what I mean, foundations, right, are superior than the minority, right? Even the black kids and me in school, we would be cornered. They would throw pies at us. Because back where I come from, I'm 96 years old, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 96 years old. And, you know, in the 1950s, you know what I mean? When I was in school, they had pies. That's why I brought up the pies. Mm. Just so that, you know. It's, it, yeah. it's two minutes. Okay, um, good. Thank you. I just. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, dude. Yeah, get, come right here. This is our wide yeah, shot, yeah, please. Yeah. It just, nobody really talks about white people like that anymore. Yeah, 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 and it yeah, feels really good. Yeah. You are. And so, uh, what, don't go right. So, you have a timer? How long do we say we're going to do? Two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. And if you smile, I will leave. Right? We lock eyes. All right?
I guess I am allowed to talk. I just realized that. Um, I, I kind of feel like I should narrate this. And welcome back to National Geographic, where a man of Korean descent finally holds his white overlord in such a way that makes them feel like they're not different races. They're part of the same collective human existence. The white man looks down at the Asian man, thinking, this is my equal. My entire life, I thought they were just pawns, almost AIs in my white universe. But no, this man in front of me, the Asian. Oh, sorry. Um, we're at 121. Is, is just as human as I am. The white man leans in for a kiss. The white man leans in for a kiss to show that, that minorities are just as good as white people. The white man leans in for a kiss because he doesn't. It's 151. <laughs> he doesn't think that gay is wrong. Jared, if you're not homophobic, kiss him. Come on. And yeah, you did it. You just on the, on, wow. Wow. Pretty good. Good job, kids. Good, 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 good job, man. Okay, can we, yeah, everyone sit down and we're going to, I will, let me put my clothes back on. We're going to talk about what you experienced. Oh, cool. Feel okay. free to keep the shirt off if you feel more no, comfortable. No, no, um, that goes for you too, Jared. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. No. Let's sit down. Though. You guys just went through a lot. Yeah, we, that was a lot. That was kind of, that was, was kind of beautiful. You have great eyes. Wow. When's let the me, last time you've done that? Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you something too. Um, have uh -huh. you have you ever heard of chapstick? I'm gonna go get mine right L now. Literally the grossest lips I've ever seen in my life. Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm getting my chapstick. Do you live in the Mojave Desert? That was fucking crazy as lips. Yeah. Did yeah. you drink water, Jared? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had to go through. Where yeah, you yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. And let me say something about his sides. Okay. Right. I I get it now. You get why he's. You need the handle. I I touched it and I just like yeah. You can grasp onto them. So you saw it as a positive. I oh, it was a total positive. Did yeah, you, yeah. you hear that? Love handles are a positive. Like if I was doing him from behind, I could just grab those fucking things. They're yeah. tempur Like that's what it felt like. It, what chapstick? Yeah, yeah. There you go, mm -hmm. bro. You get girls? No. You see, you don't have a girlfriend. No. Oh. When's the last time you got laid? Let's be honest. Probably like three weeks ago. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Do, do, do you believe him? I believe him because you know the person. I know the person. And yeah, yeah. Is this person me mentally challenged? Um, she's got an extra chromosome, but besides okay. that, she's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's all I wanted to ask. I don't. No, I think, I'm not judging. No, I'm not shaming. Judging. Never. There's no judgment. Um. Uh, yeah. So this person. Um. Willingly did it? Would you say that? I or, would say that. Well, you said I. Okay, because you, you came in and you're like, this. There's this woman that I was with, and she. I wouldn't let her take no as an answer. She's like, just like a businessman, when I'm in the bedroom with a woman, I will never let her say no to me, no matter what. Where I'm gonna have sex with a woman if if she's in my bedroom. Because remember, you're dragging mm. her through. She was asleep. You're like, oh, she fell asleep in the car. And then you like winked at me. And I was like, what does that mean? And then you dragged her body, her lifeless body into your room. Oh. Lifeless. Life no, not life. Uh, I'm sorry. Unconscious body. So sorry. You're right. Ha ha. That would have got us canceled. And then you, you <laughs> kind of screamed out, about to pork another. Remember you said that? And you're like, I'm going to put it in every hole this time, Zach. You said. Jared. You Jared? said. Huh. No, stop, stop. Okay. Stop. This is true, though. I, I understand. You were going through some things just now. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. And this is what I believe what you're going through okay. in your mind. You're like, I liked this girl three weeks ago. She's a friend of mine. I have feelings for her. And now this guy, Zach, my, my boss, my boss is um, painting a picture like she's just a piece of meat. Mm. How do you feel about that? Not good. I know. <laughs> you know. Did, yeah. w did some anger come out? Be honest. Uh, a little resentment, a little anger? A little bit. Right. I can uh -huh. tell by yeah. your face. Yeah. Right. I want to and say sorry. No, don't say sorry yet. All right. Okay. Um, tell Zach how you feel. Zach? Yes. No, that's me. Yes. That. Oh, my bad. That upsets me that because I, I, I did have care for this 
this girl and I did not dry, drag her unconscious body through the apartment. So she was conscious. She was conscious. But she still said and no. No. Okay. No. She wanted to sleep with me. And you oh, need wow. to accept because she that. she couldn't leave. Let me ask you this, Jared. Huh? What happened? Uh, I don't, I'm not in the place <laughs> mentally for a girlfriend right now. Oh, so you don't like her in that way. Okay. No, I want to go here. I, I know, no, I know. But this guy is a serial heartbreaker. Like, it, he doesn't what look like it. What are you like talking it. about? That's, what I, that's where I'm going to. That's no, where no, I'm this, going. This is actually true. Okay. for You've always had consensual sex, blah, blah, blah. We were joking before. But when I say this guy will take a woman's heart and curb stomp it like he's, like he's trying to initiate it into a gang. I'm going to say something that I've observed, and this is your fault. Uh, everything's my fault. I know. Just hear me out, okay? You sound like my dad. You <laughs> created a monster. This guy was working at what? Best Bet, Best Buy. It was a pizza. What was shop. he doing? Yeah, a pizza, pizza shop. Whatever, right? Yeah. You're like, hey, this guy was an incel. Yeah. No girl wants to do this with this. I got you. <laughs> Look at him, yeah. right? No, I'm looking with at his him. horse mouth and his sides, and his, right? The chap lips, right? And then you were like, hey, kid, let's get some followers. Yeah. Let's get some fame. Let's put you on camera, right? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. created a fucking monster, dude. That's your fault. Right, you could have used anybody. You should could have gone to the subway and asked the fucking lady that works there to do it. I could have gotten a girl. You're right. Yeah, right. A, a girl to do it. Right, but you got this guy to do it, and now he's getting some attention online. How many followers do you have on Instagram? Um, twenty seven thousand. He doesn't deserve that. Mm -mm. That's twenty seven thousand human beings that follow this guy. You know what I mean? One of them, five of them are going. How many followers did you have before we met? 700. <laughs> That's my point. Uh -huh. What he did. Right. And now look at what you're doing. Oh, I'm not emotionally available. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the right place in my life to do that. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> right. You're an incel getting women. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh huh. Accept it. Marry this girl from three weeks ago. Yeah. Can you call her up? Call her up. Call her up really quick. He's squirming. Mm -mm. Yeah. Not so, no, that. honestly, this guy's like, you know, hit and running, hit and running. A friend of Catch ours release. recently described me as a love bomber where you you ah oh, that's the worst kind so ladies pay attention okay love bomber let him wait a year if you're gonna date jared <laughs> <laughs> a year yeah oh, for sure if you're gonna for, for sure right Do you, well, honestly no he's he's yeah. a deviant when it comes he'll stick anything in to what? Tell, tell him what yeah. you stuck in a water. no i'm not doing that Anyway, okay. a he, year's sticks, fair. he sticks objects that don't belong in a human body into Actually, people. Actually, he, he uses Zach, secret. shut the fuck up. Uses, I love this. Zach, shut <laughs> you up. You can cut this. You're the editor, right? Yeah. yeah. You are cut it editor. out if you're uncomfortable. Okay. All right? Let everything flow and then at, in post, okay. cut Thank it you. out. Sorry, Jerry. Right? This so don't say shut the fuck up, man. He's your boss. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> fuck you. Well, I'm not his. It's more of a mutual. It's a mutual it's thing. A mutual. Oh, I didn't know because he kept okay. saying that. You, yeah, you're just about, I'm sorry. I didn't know the fucking I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say I was the yeah, boss. Yeah, you did. You just assumed I was the boss because of the confidence. No, you were in the elevator. You're like, rip on this guy. I'm the guy and this and that. Anyway. Um, I will, yeah. I mean, that's. Did you not say that? Did you not say that? Did you not say that? Oh, no, I didn't say I said. I said you should rip on Jared because we have a bet that if he cries this podcast, I win $50. Okay. That's my intention. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's the story? Give me the Adam, Adam and object story. Okay. So you were with a young woman. Like, I was also young. With a minor. Was, no. How old are you, Jared? I'm 24. Young. Okay. I was Okay. I was like 18 at the time, though. And how old is she? 18. Okay. Great. Legal. Legal. Yeah. So you guys are getting hot and heavy, um, and they don't have a condom. Okay. And, and Jared wants to keep it safe, which I commend him for. So at the time, he had a... Uh, the girl also wants to keep it safe. Okay, so and it was of. her suggestion to do this. It was her suggestion. To use a Snickers wrapper as a condom. And that's okay. And that's something we need to come around and hug him for. Unless you have a different opinion. And I'm, I'm sorry for bringing it up, Jared, but he's our therapist. <laughs> You're I mean, not sorry for bringing it up. You it can't was, go to the store and get a fucking condom. We were looking around the car. She was looking like in no, her no, purse no. You have a car. So you have a car, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Can you go to a CVS? It, yeah, we could have. Why didn't you do that? Okay. So we were looking for one and then she saw the Snickers bar sitting there and was just like, what if we use this? And I was like, oh my God. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And she's like, no, I'm serious. And then, and then that's when you go, why don't we go to fucking Walgreens? But I pressed her about it a few more times. And then when she was serious, 
I kind of, I want at the time I wanted to do it for the story, but now I don't want the story out there. Let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Had you been, were you a virgin before that? No. Okay. So you'd done this before. Yeah. Had you done sneakers wrappers before? No. Okay. You used condoms before. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. She's dumb. Yeah. 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 This is on her. I don't know this why on you, her. you keep thinking it's a negative for you. This is on her. Right. And that's what I wanted to talk through today. And Bobby's great that, yeah, at talking and, and through And I'm saying like that. that I know you feel shame about that incident, uh -huh. right? It was on her. Okay. Although, next time, please... Go to a store. That's what 99.99.9% 9 .9 <laughs> of the people on planet Earth would have done. Or not you. Okay? Um, and that's what makes you endearing. I'm um, unique. It's endearing. It's, it's unique. because you want to serve a woman so much, even if her suggestion is wild, you went along with it. You know, it's so funny. I came in here and I was just like, I feel bad for this guy. I don't... No longer. <laughs> you're, dude, you're, you're on the edge, dude. Can I have a question? Yeah, Can go I, ahead. I want to... You're getting back into the dating scene. Mm -hmm. You're trying out the apps. You're meeting with women, um, but you still live with your ex. How do you kind of bring that up to the counterparts that you're now seeing? It's like, oh, also I cuddle with my ex sometimes. I don't know. Well, that number one, we have separate rooms. Okay. Okay. Num I live in a mansion. <laughs> and I'm kidding. I live in a house. And number two, um, the, you know, it's funny. I'm friends with pretty much all my ex-girlfriends. That's number one. Okay. Number two... Um, there's a way to lovingly and mindfully break up with your partner and still be friends and to still love each other because no, I, I I understand I that. love Kalila so it's like I tell that to the people I'm dating I go I still live. Secondly, w since we have a um, a public, you know, what I mean, relationship, everyone that listens to my podcast knows who she is because she's my podcast partner. We're in business together. So it's like, you know, I'm not, I can, there's nothing I can hide from somebody. They could just Google it, right? So I'm just very direct. I'm like, she sleeps in a different room. We still do the pod. We signed a deal to do three more years on Tiger Belly, right? And that stuff's out front because it's like, I'm not in the business of like lying. Do you think you guys genuinely have that relationship or do you think it's it's like, okay, we try to keep it as acclimable? As no, I love her. No, okay. no, we okay. still, we're still friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just I just couldn't imagine just telling someone, yeah, I, okay, so I want to date you, come over to the house. Also, my ex is in that room. They right don't there. come over. Never, they'll never come over. She's moving out. Oh, we're she is? Yeah, okay. we're finding a place for her to live. You know what I mean? She's looking, right? But, you know, that that's going to happen. But in ter that, yeah, all that we stuff. We have a free room in our place if she wants to. No. What do you mean, no? This fucking guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's going to love bomber. He's going to love bomber. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then break our, her heart. Come on our chest and break up with it. Yeah. yeah. Is that how you did it? Do what? When you broke up with Kalila, did you first come on her belly and then break up with her? No, it was, um, there was a couple of years of couples therapy and it was just something that we talked about over the years, you know? So it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it was just upfront and, um, you've spoken about it to nauseam. So we, we won't go. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just, but it's just been, I didn't even, a, I didn't even mean to go to, to walk into that section. It's I fine. I know. I, because I, Jared opened up. Yeah. Right. And I wanted to open up a little bit to him. You know what I mean? It's yeah. okay. Let me ask you a side question. Um, same vein. Um, when you're dating a girl, mm -hmm. how many times do you take her out before you expect sex? I don't ever like expect sex. But in your head, every, we, we all have a number. Well, I guess the societal number is like three, like third date. Mm. No. Interesting. What? Why, why is there a number? I just said I didn't have no, a number. No, but here's what you do. Okay. Okay. Next time you meet a girl that you want to, you know what I mean, hook up with, you think she's hot, <laughs> right? You set a high number. Okay. You tell her, you know what? I don't want to have sex for three months until I, we really get to know each other. All right. Will you do that for me? Yeah. Okay. I will. Yeah. I actually, I think that'll be more beneficial for me in the long run. Get to know them first. Yeah. And, you know, there, here's a little secret. Uh huh. Because you're 24 years old. I started doing stand up at 23. Really? Yeah. And that was in 1995. Okay. Looking at your future. Right. And <laughs> what I'm telling you right now is. I don't even remember the women I had sex with in my 20s, mm -hmm. right? And there, it's always going to, unless, unless, if you have a penis and you're not in a car accident or whatever, right? And you can walk around, whatever. It's always going to be there. It's always going to be there. So don't go, oh, it's, I'm young. And I, you know the feeling, the horniness that you have? Uh huh. I have it right now. Really? It doesn't go away. Oh. Right? Every time I'm with a, you know, I make out with a girl, I just can't believe it. It's exciting and 
the mystery and all that stuff, it's always going to be there. Okay. Okay. So if you're not, it's not a race. Don't rush yourself. Right. But try to be more upfront and honest and communicate. And if you want to just bang and leave, put that out there. Be open and upfront yeah, yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. He knows you well. Yeah. You guys hugged. I mean, when's the last time you hugged someone with both of your shirts off, looking into each other's eyes for two minutes? I haven't. I mean, he's that was a, We had a moment. We connected as people. We did. Yeah, yeah. What, let me ask you, what did we oh. learn today? What did we learn today? I learned that Jared can be a better person if he just <laughs> listens to people that have been through it. Mm. I learned that Jared seemingly looks like he has some sort of mental handicap, uh-huh. but he's not. Number yeah. two, he's willing to learn. Of course. He's willing to take risks. Mm-hmm. That improv thing was amazing. Thank yeah. you. He learned, right? Yes, I And um, his sides, the, the thing on the sides, the love it's beautiful. It's very soft. It's like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you know the thing about a melted candle? What? It means people want it. Exactly. Because it's, you were it lit. was used. Yeah, it was no, lit. it's your lit. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking lit, dude. You're so lit. Um, what I want to say is, uh, you know what I want to cut out? Um, and that's it. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. And this is my closing statement. May I have a closing statement? Please. Of course. Okay. I was dreading this. Uh huh. I know. And I'm glad it came. Oh, that means I really like you guys. That means a and lot. I, th- I honestly think that you guys have podcast chops. A little racist. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah. A well, little we were forced into it. Just yeah, so you no, know. you weren't. A little racist. <laughs> you okay? But um, I will. Do you have my number? Uh, did you call me today? Is that you? Yeah. When you're down. Yeah. Okay. Then All I have right. your number. So if you really need help with a guest, I'm willing to do a follow-up call for you. Thank you. Okay, to help this podcast out. Thank you. Um, I think you guys have a future. And um, I'm really glad I came. You, you've been on our list for a while now. As, I'm the best. No, you're one of the reasons we started <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is where we're going to get sentimental for a second. And we really appreciate you, know, you coming on. I think you taught us a lot. I think you've been through a lot of things that we'll fumble over through the years. And, and we always know we could probably not call you, but think about you. Well, no, I'd situation. like to do it again. Okay. Right. So um, let's make a deal. Um, let's do it once a year. That, that's wonderful. That sounds great. On, at year. this time, what's the date now? It is November 16th. Every November 16th, I do it. All right. And if your podcast ever stoops below. No, we level, won't, no, no, listen, that's an interesting question, right? Uh-huh. You guys are on my short list. Oh, that feels good. Okay. That feels good. You are. <laughs> no, you you guys come on together. Oh hell yeah! But yeah. bring the girl maybe. Oh we yeah we'd like to if she's yeah, yeah. not in. Uh... What, where does she sit over there? She sits right there, and then where usually the guest is there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. cool. Yeah. But that was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Thank guys. You. Bobby Lee, the pe- where can the people find you really quick? Bobby Lee live Instagram, Twitter, and also uh, my Twitter was hacked, so I don't know. But anyway, sorry. If you stay till the end, uh, send me your favorite Bobby Lee bit over the years. That way, I know you waited to the end. Thank you so much. I'm Zach Justice. That's Jared Bailey. Whatever. See ya.